Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? I hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday, man. We are here in Cleveland for our last game of this series. And uh, Jay Hayes going to lead it off today, playing right field for Mookie Betts. Gets his first game in this series. And uh, Hayward will take it, man. I feel like he's, well, his neck kind of went through the dugout. That was weird. But he hasn't had a lot of playing time lately. Thought we'd start him today as... Yesterday, man, we won 5-0. It was a pretty easy game. Overcast weather, it looks like, here tonight or this morning or this afternoon. I really can't tell if it's a day game or a night game with the weather. As I'll bring up Aaron Savali. This is his 26th start, 13-5, uh, 3.78 ERA, 154 and two-thirds innings. 30 walks, 94 strikeouts on the year. Uh... Thursday guys it is Thursday we are getting closer and closer to LA every day I'm pretty excited just a little bit under the weather went to the doctors got some antibiotics hopefully those things kick in help me out as uh, the first pitch to Hayward who's hitting 270 no excuse me hitting 294 will lead this ball game off on the road he kills it at home not so much so he's proud to, to finally be in the lineup well he's probably proud and happy that he's leading it off and just glad he's in the game for once and it's on the road two and one since that's where he does his most damage kind of struggles at dodger stadium but plays very well everywhere else as that's hit and carpenter will field it throw to first on time one away so one away now that I bring up outman hitting 351 23 bombs, 70 rubies. He's been kind of a, on a slump as well. So, uh, first pitch to Outman will be fouled 0 and 1. So, the top three hitters so far well, Betts, Outman, and Willie Adamas. They've been kind of quiet. Not, they're not the top three hitters, but uh, I mean, Outman's the best hitter on the squad at the moment when it comes to batting average. The 1 1. So, one and two to get him going again would be huge. One two from Savali to Outman. We'll be inside two and two. <clears throat> so tomorrow we'll be in Boston though for Mookie Betts's uh, first game back there and since 2019. The payoff pitch to Outman will be hit up the middle for a base hit. Alman with a single with one away here in the top half of the first has to feel pretty good for James. And now that will bring up Max Muncy hitting 306 and playing first base today for the Dodgers as Freeman will get the day off. First pitch inside, ball one. <clears throat> Muncy, 44 bombs, 103 ribbies. All star this season. 1 0. Yeah, this has to be a day game. If Houston and the Red Sox are playing at 210, yeah, this has to be an early morning game just with overcast weather. The 1-1, one, 2-1. One, and 2-1. One. Right, one from Savali to Muncie will be hit into right field. That was a hanger, but it will be caught. And the throw back to first will be on time. And they'll double up the Dodgers right there. Just misread it. Thought it was going to bang off the wall. And unfortunately, it didn't. Alright, our start of day, Walker Buehler. This is his 22nd start. 18-0. Has a 1.58 ERA. 142 and one-thirds inning. 79 hits given up. 6 walks. 191 strikeouts on the year. His last start, he got pulled due to a bruised hand. He's had a little injury going on, but back for his uh, scheduled start. So it wasn't that big of a deal looking to have a good game here. First pitch to Ahmed Rosario, hitting 318. First pitch will be a strike, 0-1. Bueller probably looking to go seven innings. Uh, Kershaw yesterday went all nine, so... The bullpen's pretty rested. One away here in the bottom of the first. One pitch, no, two pitches and one out for Walker Bueller. And now they'll bring a Miles Straw. <clears throat> first pitch from Bueller. High for a strike, 0 oh, 1. Good pitch heater right there, the 0 oh, 1 slider. 
hit Taylor. We field it playing short today for Adamus. Throw to first, two away. <clears throat> two up, two down. And now that will bring up Juan Soto hitting 331. 37 home runs. Has 103 RBIs as well, just like Max. I didn't notice that until this game, so he's collecting the RBIs like crazy. 0 and 1. Could be the AL MVP. I mean, can you technically win an MVP if you get traded from league to league? Is that's hammered and gone? And uh, it's a 1-0 ball game. Juan Soto saw that knuckle curve pretty well. 38th home run of the year. I mean, Mike Trout's having a very good year for the Angels, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be tough for Juan Soto to win an AL MVP, but I don't know how that would work. Would he technically be able to get it? I don't know, but it's a 1-0 ball game thanks to Juan Soto. And that knuckle curve right there from Bueller just did not go the way we needed it to. And now that will bring up Jose Ramirez hitting 298. I really like Jose Ramirez, man. One of my favorite Guardians 0-1. And I mentioned it earlier in this series that I wish the Dodgers have always traded for him or they wanted to trade for him, but... Ended up getting locked up in Cleveland in the offseason of the 2023 offseason, so here to stay. One and two. One, two heater from Bueller. Fouls it off. <clears throat> the one, two. Another fastball. Hit into left. Peralta won't have to move for this one. And they'll end the first, but the Guardians are on the board first. Thanks to a Juan Soto solo shot. And David Peralta will lead off the uh, top half of the second. First pitch. Swung on and missed. 0 1. Good curve. One to the Dodgers left fielder today. The 0-1 pitch. 1-1. One one. One, one. The 1-1. One, 2-1. One. And, one. one pitch to Peralta. 3-1. and one. Randy Martinez on deck is DHing today. The 3-1 pitch. Will be fouled three and two. And so Bali with the payoff pitch to David Peralta will be hit down to first. Cabrera will take it to the bag himself. One away. <clears throat> one away. Now they bring up JD Martinez hitting 345, nine bombs, and 29 RBIs on the year. First pitch taking outside ball one. Win leader, Aaron Savaldi, is on the AL list with 13. Last, but has a, has a good amount of wins. As that's hit down to short. Rosario, two away. <clears throat> two away, and now that will bring up Arenado hitting 284. First pitch to Arenado outside, ball one to the Dodgers third baseman. 1-0. Man, Pete Alonso just keeps hitting home runs as that's hammered in the left. That ball is high, but it's off the wall. It will not get out of here, and that will be a two-out double for Arenado. Man, the Dodgers, I feel like it's done, we're going to have a hard time in Boston hitting no-doubters. We can't even get one over the Cleveland Guardians wall out there in the left. We're, we're going to the Green Monster for the next three games, so hopefully we can start you know, elevating them. But our righties are having a hard time. As that will bring up Taylor hitting 306. That's a hitting streak on the line. Coming in with 12 games. As that's going to be hit to short. Rosario will field it. Throw to first to end the top half of the second. And uh, still 1-0 Guardians. All right, Matt Carpenter will lead off the bottom of the second hitting 290. First pitch heater, strike one. <clears throat> Yet to get a base hit off of Bueller in his career. The 0-1, 0-2. No ball, two strikes. 
Our team cutter from Bueller. One and two. The one two pitch. It. Taylor will field it. One away here in the bottom of the second. <clears throat> Man, that uh, Diamondbacks and Red Series should be a good one. Four game weekend series. Starting at 7.05 tonight for both of them. 0 oh, and 2. That should be a fun one. We'll, we'll definitely keep our eyes out on that one. The O2 slider. Hit and fouled. O2, the heater. Fouled it off. By the way, the Rockies are playing the Rays at the moment. They're in a rubber match. The, two, the O2 will strike them out two away. Here in the bottom of the second. Rockies looking to win that series today. So I'll bring up Josh Naylor. Some of the AL, not the AL, excuse me. Some of the NL West teams have really started to slow down in the division. The Rockies, Diamondbacks. I feel like they've kind of slowed down just a bit. That's fouled one and one. They haven't really got on any big winning streaks lately. The one, two fouled off. The biggest winning streak I saw that got broken was the Angels. The Reds ended up defeating them twice in that series so the Reds man they beat up on the Angels Angels probably just got ran out of gas a little or something that's popped up Muncie will field it to end the second 0-1-2-3 inning for Bueller all right Miguel Vargas will lead off the top of the second heading 278 and the lineup today will probably have tomorrow off First pitch outside, ball one. Had an RBI in last night's ball game. Went one for four. Two and oh. Single up the middle last night for Miguel Vargas. The 2-0. 3-0 oh and Barnes is on deck. 3 out of Vargas. And ball four. Four pitch. Walk for Vargas, and now that'll bring up Barnes hitting 288. First pitch to Barnes. Outside, ball one. Nine bombs, 25 RBIs on the year. The 1 0. 2 0. Six straight balls for Savaldi here in the top of the third. The 2 0. Two and one. <clears throat> the two one pitch. To Austin Barnes. Hit into left. That ball will be playable for Soto. One away here in the top of the third. Up uh, Hayward. Oh, for one. First pitch to Hayward will be hit. Rosario will turn to Nolan, the top of the third. <coughs> All right. That sucked. <laughs> All right, that will bring up Oscar uh, Gonzalez to lead off the bottom of the third, hitting 284. First pitch, strike one. The old one slider. Hit down to Arenado. One away here in the bottom of the third. With a bullet over to Muncie. I'll bring up Sanchez hitting 276, three bombs, 19 ribbies. First pitch, knuckle curve. Ball one. One oh, and now the fastball. One and one. The one one. The heater one and two. The one two. The slider two and two. All right, the two two knuckle curve. 
fouls it off. Rockies winning 4-0 in the third. In Tampa, that's a strikeout to the way here in the bottom of the third. No no <clears throat> to the way, now that'll bring up Rosario. For one. First pitch cutter, strike one. The one heater 0 for six lifetime against Walker Bueller. One and one. The heater. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Two one slider from Bueller. Hit Muncie will field it and end the third. One, two, three inning for Bueller. Can the Dodgers offense get something going? Yeah, James Alman will lead off the uh, top half of the fourth. One for one with the single first pitch. Hit and foul, down one. Has 143 hits and leads the Dodgers in that category, the 0 1. 0 oh 2, man, what a pitch. Right down the middle, but that was, looked like it was going to go outside, the 0 2. Hitting the right, that ball is going to be fouled. The 0 2. 1 and 2. But leads the Dodgers. Who would have thought the rookie James Outman would have led the Dodgers in hits? The so one, two, two, and two. Great take. Two, two from Savali. Hit. Carpenter fields it. Throws the first on time. One away. One away. Now that'll bring a Muncie. Three for eight in the series. First pitch from Savali to Muncy. Outside ball one. Sinker moved a lot on that one. 1-0. One, oh. one and one. One one. Two and one. <clears throat> the two one pitch. Fouled two and two. Good curve. Oh, the two two. Three and two. Oh, the payoff pitch from Savali to Muncie. Fouled. Oh, the three two. Will be outside and a walk. Max Muncy. Uh, that'll bring up David Peralta. All for one. First pitch inside ball one. The one oh. One and one. Hmm, the one one to Peralta, hit, Rosario, to Carpenter, back to uh, Cabrera, or to Cabrera to end the top half of the fourth. Another double play from the Guardians. And that's their third one. All right, Mastral would lead off the bottom of the fourth, 0 for 1. Pitch count pretty good for Bueller, just that one swing from Soto has changed this ball game. The 0-1. One and one. Bueller's last game, when he left the game, he was actually losing the game. So maybe it's just destined for him to finally lose the game this year. He's 18-0. That's had a really good year. One, two, and two. The 2-2 two, two slider. Three and two, and Soto's on deck. Three to the heater. The straw will be popped into left. Peralta. One away here in the bottom of the fourth. Alright, one away. Now that'll bring up one Soto. 
Well, deep in his last AB on the knuckle curve. This first pitch will hit the Muncie two away. <clears throat> two away, and now that will bring up Jose Ramirez 0 for 1. First pitch, swung on and missed, 0 and 1. The 0 1 fastball. The 0 and 2, that's, that's fouled down the line. All right, the 0-2 heater in. The Jose Ramirez will be hit. Taylor will field it. Throw the first and another 1-2-3 inning for Walker Bueller. Well, J.D. Martinez will lead off the top of the fifth. Strike one. Oh, and two. And two to Martinez. The other two pitch. High one and two. One, two. In the left, that ball's drilled. Soto will catch it, though, one away. Soto didn't really have to move over there, actually, and now that'll bring up Arenado. He's two for nine. <clears throat> Doubled earlier. First pitch to Arenado. Will be hammered to left, and we got ourselves a tie ball game. It's a 1-1 game as Arenado... Hits a solo shot, which will be his 15th of the year. Good swing right there from Arenado. And we haven't seen the power in Arenado's bat that much this season, but when he does hit a home run, I feel like it's in very clutch situations, and I'll take it. He's, he's just one of those guys who will come up and do something just like that, and he's the first person, I think, to hit one into left field and get it over the wall for us in this series. He's, he's prepared for the green monster in Fenway. First pitch to Taylor. Swung on a miss, 0 and 1. So Dodgers tied up here in the top of the fifth, thanks to Renato. Taylor trying to get a hit to extend that hitting streak, which he will. As the ump will get out of the way. Almost hit the umpire's foot. Now batting. Second base. Miguel Vargas. Well, they bring Miguel Vargas. Ball one. Two and oh. Two zero, -oh. hammered into left. It's a three-one ball game, and Miguel Vargas did not miss that cutter. Three-one. Ball game, seventeenth home run of the year. Oh, one. One and one. So Vargas hits his 17th home run of the year on a cutter, which was, it was a good pitch. But Vargas just beat the ball to the spot with the bat. And the one, two, two and two. Two two, and Savaldi will be fouled. 
two, two. Three and two. And ball four. All right, first pitch hit and another double play ball. Carpenter to Rosario to Cabrera to end top half of the fifth. But the Dodgers, we do take the lead thanks to a solo shot and then a two-run home run from Vargas. Vargas is prepared for the Green Monster, too. He he launched that bad boy. That was a great swing from Miguel Vargas. And well, Matt Carpenter will lead off the bottom of the fifth. 47 pitches so far for Bueller through four. His first pitch swung on and missed. 0 one Carpenter has been having a very quiet series as that's popped up in the left. Easy play for David Peralta. One away. One away, and now that'll bring up Miguel Cabrera. Hit a home run on Tuesday night's ball game. It was quiet yesterday against Clayton Kershaw. You know, for one today against Walker Buehler. One and one. <clears throat> the one one slider. Hit Vargas. He field it. Two away. Two away, and that'll bring up Josh Naylor 0 for 1. Ball 1. One ball, no strike. The 1 0. Hit and fouled 1 and 1. Looks like there's a lot of fans here for it being a Thursday evening or Thursday afternoon. It's obviously an afternoon game. It's just the overcast skies are making it confusing. The one-two heater hit. Muncie dies with a play. And that will end the bottom of the fifth. Freeman might go talk to Muncie about that good play at first. Might say, hey, man, I'm trying to win a gold glove. Don't be taking my plays like that. I mean, what a play for Max. He's had some good plays over there at first this year. Uh, Mike Clevenger will come out of the bullpen for the Guardians. This is his 34th game. Has a 5.06 ERA and 137 innings pitched. And James Altman will lead off the top of the sixth. One for two. And taking a ball 1-0. The 1-0. 2-0. Two zero pitch, three and zero. Max Muncy's on deck. The three zero pitch from Clevenger fouls it off. Three and one. Three and two. Oh, the payoff pitch. Will be high on a walk for Outman. And now that'll bring up Max Muncy. He's 0 for 1. First pitch. Swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Muncy wants to join the home run party with that swing. The 0 1. Outman will get back into first safely. Rockies winning 8 to 5 in the 5th. Javier Baez has his 12th and 13th home run of the year. For the Rockies, the 0 1. High 1 and 1. The 1 1. From uh, Clevenger, 2 and 1. Man, the Rangers, 16 and a half games back from the Angels, man. The Angels really turned it up. As that's hammered to right. It's a 5 1 ball game. As Max Muncy. It's another home run in this series. It's 45th of the year. All right, Pete Alonso, stop hitting home runs, man. 
Because Max Muntz is trying to catch up every every game, okay? Stop stop hitting him, please, buddy. <laughs> we'll take it. Good job right there from Max Muncy. 45th home run of the year with ease. Just a terrible slider that hung up and Muncy crushed it. That'll bring up Peralta. 0 for 2. Swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Trying to attack the first pitch. 0 for 3 in the series is David Peralta. 0 1 pitch. 0 and 2. I know 1 and 1, excuse me. Oh, the 1 1. So tired of being sick. So, crazy fact. All right, so if you've been watching the franchise for the last month, I was sick around this month, around this time last month in July. Ended up, you know, going to the doctor, getting the antibiotics and stuff like that. As that's popped up in the right. Well, I never truly got rid of the sickness because I've been coughing for the past month after I took those antibiotics. And uh, I'm still sick. I guess my, or like, I'm, I still got something in my respiratory system as that's hit down the line. And that'll be a single for Arenado with uh, two away. But I still got something in my system. And it's, it's what's made me cough for the past month. So, uh, there's still something wrong, and, uh, they, they're giving me stronger antibiotics before I go to L.A., and, you know, they told me to take, uh, it's a seven-day period of them, uh, I'm gonna have to take just as much as I can before I go to L.A. and then come back and take the rest, but, uh, or maybe take them with me. I know, like, airports get sad about that if you have, like, medicine, so... Anyways, uh, <clears throat> just, uh, trying to feel better, and I've been sick for pretty much a month with this cough, and I didn't notice it until now, because I'm congested, and I just had to go to the doctor, and, uh, they said that once I come back from LA, if I don't feel any better, they want to do a respiratory system, uh, test. So, I mean, I hope everything's good. I, I can definitely tell my breathing's affected. Uh, just hopefully I feel good by Monday. And the day I'm recording this, so... Uh, I should be able to take all the pills for uh, before LA. Because the day I'm recording this is actually on a Monday. So... So, uh... So I should be able to take them all. I said a seven day grace period. So if I take one today and then one tomorrow and all that stuff, take it by next Monday, I should be good to go. So just, uh, yeah, so I won't even have, and, and, and I won't even have to finish them by the time I get back to, I mean, from LA, I'm pretty sure. So I know I said I had to. I said today was Thursday, but it's Thursday in the game, Monday in real life. I get... When when I make these videos, sometimes I get confused. It's like, I'm kidding. But I did think it was Thursday since I'm making the Thursday game. But it's actually Monday. We're, we're pre-recording. So proud of myself. The L1. Circle change, O and 2. But Thursday, the day you're watching it. So it's technically Thursday, but the day I'm recording it isn't. So... Happy Thursday, like, like I said. That's so fouled. Yo, two. One and two. This, this is going to be the last inning for Walker Buehler. I'll take six innings. I wanted seven, but... I'll just take six since he's coming off the injury. Gives up one run in this outing. Had a pretty good outing. Got a few strikeouts. Not too shabby from Walker Buehler. Miguel Vargas will lead off the uh, <clears throat> top half of the seventh, and we are go we are going to warm up. Let's go with Alex Reyes in the bullpen. One for one is Vargas with a walk. First pitch, high ball one. 
laid off the top of the seventh. Hit a home run in his last A.B. They gave the Dodgers the lead, and they haven't looked back. 2-0. Boston currently losing to the Astros. So that's fouled 2-1. The Boston team we're facing isn't the Boston team I expected to go in and face. They did a lot of trading up the deadline, so... Don't really know who they have in that squad. The 3-1. Hit up the middle for a base knock. So, leadoff single. Up next to the Dodgers, the catcher, Austin Barnes. I bring a Barnes 0 for 1. First pitch, 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch, 0 and 2. Okay, the 0 2. Vargas will lead. There he goes. They got him. Oh, man. Yeah, they got him. Try to get out of it. I should have just kept going back to first. All right. One away. Vargas got picked off. That's a strikeout. Two away now. First strikeout of the game, I think. That's that's rare. Because <laughs> I think that's the first time I've heard the strikeout noise from the uh, Guardians today. Is that's hitting the left center. That ball will not drop. Straw will get there to end the top half of the seventh. Well, now Straw will lead it off. And we're going to bring in Alex Reyes. This is his 27th game, 36 and two thirds innings. That's a 2.985 ERA. First pitch to Straw. Strike one. The 0 1 slider. Hand to right, and it will go fouled. Ball boy, you should have caught it. The 0 2. Peter. Hand to right. Hayward will catch this one. One away. First play for Jay Hay out on the right today. The left fielder, <clears throat> now they'll bring up one Soto. One for two. First pitch heater, hit into left, and that will go fouled. That's a foul ball. On one, one to the left fielder for the Guardians. Still going to be a free agent after this year. The Padres didn't need him no more. And the Guardians came calling for some Padres. They thought they could get some help from, which I feel like they have. I mean, the, if we sweep the Guardians, I'm still impressed with the way they play like they're a very good ball club that we faced and you know they're holding us to the limited amount of runs they can try we're holding them to under the runs I think they could score I really do under the runs I and and you know they're not winning the central at the moment but I'm pretty sure they'll be able to turn it around after this series when you're facing a tough team that's really developed like the Dodgers it's, it's not easy but I feel like the Guardians would be a team I'd like to match up in the World Series if we make it. As that's hitting the left, that's going to drop for a base hit. Another double for Jose Ramirez in this series. Twenty-sixth of the year. I think that's his third double of the series. Now bring up Carpenter 0 for 2. First pitch heater fouls it off 0-1. The 0 1 from Reyes. The 12 6. 0 and 2. The 0 2 heater will strike him out looking to end the seventh. He knew that he needed to get that out there, Reyes did. <clears throat> right, they're bring in Nick Sandlin, a 2.13 ERA, and let's start warming up Almonte in the bullpen. To him going out there. First pitch from Nick Sandlin. Ball one. 30,795 here in attendance. The 1 0. On a Thursday morning game. 
2-0. From Sandman. Fouls it off, 2-1. Getaway day for the Dodgers. Don't know if Cleveland's going anywhere, but... I'm, I'm definitely going to be watching Cleveland and the, the, and the Twins fight for the Central. 2-2. The as that's a strikeout, good sinker. Just a terrible swing right there from James Allman. Now that'll bring a Muncie one for three. I mean one for two. First pitch. Hit into right. That's going to split the gap and be a base hit. And probably a double, actually, for Max Muncie, which will be a standout double. With one away here in the top of the eighth. His 24th double of the year. Maybe he's looking at Jose Ramirez when he's doing that. <laughs> he said, I, you can hit a few doubles and I can hit a double. Huh. All fun and games with Jose Ramirez. You don't want to make him mad. Or you'll get Tim Anderson. First pitch, popped up. <laughs> I feel like I've been making that joke a lot in this series. Two away here in the top of the eighth. We're not going to run on Miles Straw. I kind of learned that lesson yesterday. That's a good arm. Surely does. The designated hitter. JD Martinez. Well, Martinez will lead off the uh, top of the eighth, 0 for 3. First pitch, strike one. <clears throat> the 0 1 pitch. 0 and 2. Now 2 to JD Martinez. The pitch to the veteran, one and two. JD is also going to be making a return back to Boston. So that should be exciting as well. One, two. Definitely going to, because that's a strike of Jesus. Definitely got to put him in the lineup, right? I heard him bring in Almonte. This is his 32nd game, has 45 and one third innings, has a 1.39 ERA. First pitch. It and into right field, and that should probably be a single for Cabrera, which it will be. His hair will throw it in, and a leadoff single here in the bottom of the eighth. Now that'll bring him Naylor, 0 for 2. First pitch slider, hit popped up, and back-to-back -back singles for the Guardians on little bloops. And now that will bring up Oscar Gonzalez. Over two, two pitches and two hits. Swung on a miss, 0 and 1. Guardians being aggressive. The 0 1 heater. 0 and 2. The 0 2 slider. We'll strike him out one away here in the bottom of the eighth after the back to back singles. And then they'll bring up Gary Sanchez over two. First pitch sinker swung on a miss, 0 and 1. I'm going to throw the sinker again, but try and get it more inside. Deal one sinker again, 0 and 2. The 0 2. The slider got him. Two away, back to back case for Almonte. Now that'll bring up a Med Rosario. 0 for 3. First pitch heater, fouled 0 1. A bit low with that fastball. From Almonte, the 0 1 heater again. 0 and 2, there we go. It's more like the fastball I wanted on that first pitch. The 0 2 circle change will be fouled. The 0 2. The sinker, fouled. I'm going to go with the slider here. The 0 2. The slider, one and two. Great take. All right, the one, two heater. Popped up into right. Hayward will give it a look, but it's going to go foul. Oh, one, two. Circle change. Hit. Vargas will field it to end the ace. So Monte will work out of the jam he put himself in. Right, we're gonna start warming up Gratterall. 
Three for three is there. Nato needs a triple to complete the cycle. That one one. <clears throat> the 0 1 pitch from Sadlin. 0 oh, 2. These Cleveland fans would love to see Arenado get out for the first time today. The 0 2. 1 and 2. I'd love to see Arenado get a triple, but that has to be really off the wall and has to take a weird bounce. 2 and 2. Great tag. Wow. That could have gone either way. The 2 2 to Arenado. Got him. One away here in the top of the ninth. This Taylor will come up after the strikeout. One for three. First pitch. Swung on a miss. 0 and 1. Oh and two. One and two, great take. So one, two from Sadlin. Jammed him. That sinker from Sadlin inside is a very good jamming pitch. Swung at it with JD Martinez and now Taylor. And something about the movement on it just looks really like tough to read. I bring up Miguel Vargas. He's two for two at the walk. First pitch. Swung on a miss, 0 and 1. <clears throat> 0 and 1 pitch. Fouls it off quickly, 0 and 2. 0 2. To Vargas. Will be low, 1 and 2. I'm going to start warming up uh, Vessia next to Gratterall. I don't know if I really want Gratterall to come out. There's really no use for him to come out or Vessia two and two. But if we need out Monte tomorrow, don't really want to make him work an extra inning. The two two, got him. That sinker again. Darn it, man. All right. Bring up Straw, and we're gonna let out Monte just throw it here. First pitch heater. Fouls it off, 0-1. <clears throat> the 0-1 slider. 1-1. 1 and 1 to straw. The fastball, 1-1. and Oh, man. Okay, getting pinched a little. 2-1. and one. The sinker, 2-2. Th 2-2 two and two. Two, two heater. Fouled off. 2-2. Two, two. The sinker fouled. All right, the 2-2 two, two fastball will be fouled off. Muncie will dive. The 2-2 two, two slider. Got him this time. One away here in the bottom of the ninth. <clears throat> and now they'll bring up Juan Soto. So we're not bringing Vessia just to Work the matchup. 23rd game, I mean, no, 22nd game of the year. 25 and two thirds innings for Vessia. And uh, Vessia's just gonna come out and try to end this ball game. First batter he'll face is Soto. First pitch, strike one. Almonte did good. He, he did his job. He didn't really want him to go too deep in too many pitches. It was that 20? So. If we need to use him tomorrow, we're able to, I think. Because I'll bring up Jose Ramirez. One for three. First pitch foul, 0 and 1. The Guardians down to their final out. In this three game series against the Dodgers. Dodgers took game one and game two and looking to sweep them here right now. The 0 2. The Guardians down to that final strike. The O2 slider and Vessia will strike out Ramirez and the Dodgers win this one 5-1. Dodgers offense, man, in these past two games and this whole series really came alive compared to the series in during the weekend versus uh, 
Man, who did we play over the weekend? Over the Marlins. I feel like our offense really came alive here. Did very well. And we'll be in Boston tomorrow for Mookie Betts' his return and J.D. Martinez. But pretty excited to be in Boston tomorrow for Mookie Betts. Uh, Walker Buehler will get his 19th win of the year. Player of the game will go to Max Muncy, which uh, I'm going to give it to Arenado. I feel like, you know, he had a really good outing on, you know, hitting. Um, Almonte did really good. Uh, Vessia did his job. So, like, comment, subscribe to this post notifications. We only got nine strikeouts today. We only got four, so that was kind of quiet-ish, but it happens. So, like, comment, subscribe to this post notifications. I'll see you guys tomorrow in Boston.